Good day everyone. We will be uh, installing SQL Server 2022 and configure it in on this video. Let's get started. We will have to open this particular link. I will uh, place this link in the uh, video description. You have to basically give your uh, details here and then uh, click on download now and uh, you will be given an uh, exe file and what you have to do is like you need to open that exe file and then you need to download the media in my case what i've done is like i have um, uh, downloaded the iso file required for this installation let me open that uh, iso file so this is the iso file so right click uh, on the setup.exe So the setup uh, installation comes up just click on installation and then click on new sql server standalone installation so this will be an evaluation edition so let's click on next accept the terms and conditions and then let's wait for the initial uh, setup files installation once this is completed we will move on so uh, what I'm seeing is like um, uh, everything seems to be okay Windows firewall is a warning so that's fine so here what I'm going to do is like I'm going to enable Azure extension for SQL server so what uh, this is going to provide us is like it is going to provide your uh, Azure ac uh, account or a server principal to authenticate the SQL server instance to Azure so uh, we basically need all these details so i'm going to select this particular option here uh, use azure login i'm going to uh, select uh, the required login that has access to my azure subscription so once that is selected uh, everything gets populated automatically so i'm uh, going to select um, um, uh, the required um, uh, resource group here uh, in my case it is going to be JBS wiki so I'll click on next so for this demo I'm just going to install the database engine yeah and I will select SQL server application and also the full text and semantic extraction for search and everything else I'm uh, going to uh, um, uh, not use it so I'm not going to select those things so in my case since this is a demo I'm selecting the instance root directory as C colon program files but in your case you can select your appropriate directory click on next <clears throat> so I'm going to have my instance name as IN2022 click on next I will uh, leave the uh, default accounts here and I'm going to select uh, grant uh, perform volume maintenance task uh, in my case I will be um, doing it uh, manually uh, from the um, uh, um, from the secpol.msc so this one I'm not going to check here so collation I will leave it to the default one I'm going to use a mixed mode authentication And I'm going to add uh, uh, the current user. So moving on to the data directories, um, so I'm just going to leave this as default. But uh, in case if it is going to be a production in production database or installation, I would um, uh, advise you use the appropriate drives and um, uh, provide the appropriate folders for that for TMDB, I'm going to use uh, the default here I'm uh, having eight cores so I have um, uh, eight files here I'm just going to uh, leave it default but in a production server it is uh, appropriate you uh, increase the initial size and also the auto growth as per your requirement max drop I'm going to use 8 which is default here uh, again uh, you can select whatever is appropriate for you memory 
I'm going to select the recommended here and uh, it is basically uh, for me the maximum memory is 11 GB close to 11 GB here so I'm going to click this one and then file stream um, uh, just, I'm not going to enable it as I don't need that so click on next and then um, click on install the installation is uh, going to take some time so what I'll do is like I will pause this video and once it is completed I will uh, update you guys okay so the installation is completed if you can see here um, everything seems to be green so let me click on close so what I'll do is like I will uh, try logging to this instance I'm uh, not going to use the Windows authentication uh, for a change I will uh, try using the SQL server authentication this time so if you can see here uh, um, uh, we have this uh, uh, SQL Server 2022 instance connected and uh, if you can see here we have uh, the version number starting with 16. That's it for this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.